So this is my last official day of being able to walk around, move about, kick a football. So I'm going for my operation tomorrow. I've got a bit of a chest infection if you're wondering what the dodgy voice is about. Um, so I've, what I've done is I've found a quiet little spot out of the way and um, I brought a ball out with me and basically I'm just going to just spend some time with the football. That's how I got to where I am today. Went to the park, used to just practice, just me and a ball, just spend quality time with the football. So yeah, last day before I go under the knife tomorrow, ball at my feet. This is the, um, it's my right ankle that's going to get surgery tomorrow. It's a bit of keyhole, there's a bit of floating bone in the foot. Um, you'll probably see more about it when, when I show you the MRI as part of probably this vlog or another video, I don't know. But either way, here I am. It's actually a cricket. It's actually a cricket field, but it's quiet and that's the main thing because obviously, yeah, it's just wanted a bit of time just me and the ball. So that's it. Let's have a little, little session. Here, a lot of you probably thinking to yourselves, What's the problem? Jezza seems all right, he's kicking a ball, he's doing tricks, he seems fine, he doesn't need an operation. But it's not so much doing tricks or kicking a ball soft, it's when I kick a ball hard, it's absolute agony. Shooting, pinging, I just can't do it anymore. So it's got to that stage where I need to get the bone taken out. I can still do little tricks, see, that's fine, that's fine. But if I went to whack that ball, then that's when the bone can dislodge and. As soon as it starts digging into a ligament, it's game over. Absolute agony. So I hope that explains why I'm able to do a few tricks today and just sort of mess around with the football. But in terms of like playing in a match or doing a shooting video or, or pings, any sort of kicking a ball hard, I just can't do it. I just can't do it. Yes guys, what's happening? It's 7.30 in the morning. I've just woke up and uh, it's a day of my operation um, to get my hernia fixed so I can get back on the pitch with the techers. So I just woke up, not allowed no food, not allowed no drink because of apparently if you eat and they put a tube down your throat and you're sick, you can, you can die or something. So not allowed to eat but I brush my teeth. Have a shower and then go. Let's go. Also, guys, so I'm absolutely knackered. I'm not shaving my beard until I get back on the pitch with the techers. I've said it. I've. It's been nine days now. It's getting it's the longest it's ever been. I'm like a right douchebag. But um, I'm not doing it. I'm just. I'm in protest to myself. I can't get. I can't shave until I get back on the pitch with the techers. I'm not having it. I'm not having it. I'm annoyed about this operation, so I'm punishing myself for it. I'm not shaving. I'm just not shaving. No, I'm not doing it. In all fairness, I'm looking at it now, and um, I might have a shave because it's, it, it's it's just like it looks terrible. Who are we keeping that? Pete, they won't even operate on me. And they'll say like, "What's going on, Bill? You're like a proper like tramp. Can't operate on you, mate." You just pay £2,500 for an operation and you can't afford a razor. I've decided that I'm definitely having a shave. Right. Not a full one, just a trim up. Oh, it looks better already. I'm back in the game. I was feeling depressed because, um,. Obviously the operation and that, so when you feel like that you kind of punish yourself. 
It's like when people go like and eat and put on loads of weight when they're depressed. It's like self-torture. And um, my way of doing it was just letting my beard go like overgrown. Also, I want to see what it looked like. So we're on route to the hospital now. Rivers Hospital, top hospital by the way. Top, top hospital. It's not no Lister where Jez is going, where you get, you pay like treble the money and get half the service. That's right, I've chosen a new rascal shorts for the hospital. Be you rascal. Be you rascal. We're running late, we're running late, and um, it adds to the nurse because you don't want them to rush anything, you know what I mean? You're in a time slot. I've got an hour and a half time slot from 10 to 11 foot. I have, I actually have. Hour and a half, he's got to do it. And um, if I'm only giving him an hour and 15 minutes, does that mean he's rushing it? I don't want him to rush it and get it wrong. And also I'm starving hungry. I don't know about you guys, but when I don't eat, I get so agitated and aggy. So I need to eat. I need to eat, I need to drink something as well. I just feel like that horrible, horrible feeling when you're starving hungry and you need to eat. But so you can't eat, you can't eat before an operation. I don't believe it personally. I just think they don't want to deal with it. They don't want to deal with you going in there with a full stomach, being happy and satisfied with yourself. They want you to go in there hungry, thirsty, in pain, scared, nervous, so they can say, we're gonna cut you open and we're gonna do an operation with you being hungry. Maybe. There's a comeback here because I haven't eaten since yesterday, seven o'clock. And if the doctors want to put me in that position, they can deal with my breath. Because I'm telling you, I brush my teeth, I've had the mouthwash. That's not enough. Because when it comes from your stomach, when it comes deep from your stomach and your stomach saying, I'm hungry, I'm pushing out some, some kind of smells, they can deal with that. I'm gonna be breathing all over them. I'm gonna be saying, lads, I'm hungry, listen. <laughs> I'm hungry. <laughs> and if they don't like it, if they don't like it, they can go and get me a Nando. <laughs> our chicken, lemon, our peri peri chips, corn soft drink, and a Nata cake. So I'm just walking through to see the, the uh, I think the guy's gonna operate on me. Before that, I had to pay two and a half grand. I said, what for? It's not the doctor's fees, that's the hospital fees. What do I get for that? Apparently I get a nurse. I said, I might leave for three hours. How much does she get per hour? I said, it's also the, uh, the drugs. So I said, it's only anaesthetic. There's no breakdown at all what I'm getting for that two and a half grand. So I've actually been marked. Cheers, mate. Cheers, mate. I've been absolutely marked. Let me explain a few things. So this is what you get for two and a half grand. <laughs> for three hours. TV. Basically, travel lodge. So we're here. Thanks to the lift, Kate. Smashed it. We're at the hospital and um, River's hospital here. About to have the op, um, walk through the main reception. I'm, I'm expecting red carpet, 2,400. I'm expecting red carpet. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Two thousand four hundred quid. Over the head, for the nurses, okay. everything. Yeah. Um, blinds. Right, okay. Yeah. Electric blinds. Fridge. Cool. Got one of them at home. Got one of them at home. Okay. Would you like this to say? What's in here? There's a safe. A safe. Mm -hmm. I'm still feeling mugged off, fella. <laughs> two and a half grand. You're telling me I've got a safe, an electric blind, right. a TV, and I can call the nurse on a little, um, whatever they call it, things. Oh, a toilet. Bathroom. Okay, yeah, yeah. Would you like to do the Wi-Fi? Well, yeah, everything I can get hold of, please, for that two and a half grand. Wi-Fi goes to the HCA underscore guest. There's no password to it, except for him, all right? Okay, thank you. Good luck. We'll play for more tomorrow. Hey, no! He played it like he didn't know. He's a subscriber. Cheers, mate. Take care. Following the big man. Just give me that. I don't know what that is, but that's what um, I've got. That's the awards. Right, so guys, I had to film this. This is the menu that you get for um, for two and a half grand. So I want you to just, I just need you to see this. 
sandwiches, We've got cheddar cheese, tuna mayonnaise, cucumber, gammon ham, cheese and pickle, plain ham, chicken mayonnaise, chicken avocado, sliced avocado and cream cheese, prawn mayonnaise, prawn mayonnaise, sliced egg and roquette. Probably each of those sandwiches would cost about, I don't know, maybe £2.25 each if you went and got them from the petrol station. <laughs> Which is exactly the sort of food they do in the petrol station. Last time you eat and drink? Um, last night, 7 o'clock. Nothing this morning, sure? No, I'm starving. <laughs> I'm really hungry. No coffee, nothing? No, no, no nothing. Not even a drop of water. Okay, you can have some water at least, but anyway. Yeah. Are you allergic to anything? She's, <laughs> she's, she's told me no water. <laughs> yeah, two hours water is allowed. Oh, okay. Anyway, I could have had it. <laughs> Are you allergic to anything? No, nothing. Oh, at least you get your own choice of bread. Please choose your choice of bread. How about now? <laughs> How about, I don't want bread. How about you go and get me a penne arrabbiata or something that's actually nice. Bit of steak, maybe? Why is this not focusing? It's not so bad. I spoke to the girl. <laughs> 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 ben, ben drank up and down. Can you feel it clicking or not? Oh, I don't like that when you push in there. I've never liked that. Okay. That's, that's, it's in, I can deal with that, but the bone's in the middle bit. I, I don't want to even do it because right. I'll feel it. Just move it up. I won't press, just move it up and down. There's no clicking there, is it? No. No clicking down there? No. No, no. Just bring your leg, your leg up this way. Just bend your knee for me. Oh, if you pushed in there, you'd kill me. I want me to put this on. I mean, come on. So, they've just given me my hospital swag. Paper pants. That's the <laughs> gown. And then these are like um, compression stockings they call them and then these <laughs> these are the pants that you have to wear <laughs> many many gt baby <laughs> come on doc you must be able to work with this you must be able to work with this they're proper see-through as well look you can see my hand through that which means <laughs> they will be able to see my thing and just hanging <laughs> Oh, I've got to go, 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 i Ooh, meat lip socks. But but why, why do they make them see through? Is it just so that they like I don't know, if they've got they've got the option. Just think it's disposable. <laughs> 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 Unless you want us to get you those lovely nappies. Well, for eight and a half grand, I would expect mm -hmm. the full work. Huggies, pampers. It's a bit windy underneath here, it's a bit windy. <laughs> Lots of air getting up there. No pants on, it's a worry. Not having a, not having a groin off, right? All I'm saying is, not having a groin off, and I'm gonna pants off. I'm worried about that. Who's, who's, who's down there doing what when I'm asleep? I'm not happy about that, you know. I'm not happy about that. Could be anyone. You said you're, your toe is not hanging over the edge, so that you won't be stubbing your toe all the time. Well. <laughs> <laughs> They're actually not a terrible shape. <laughs> You're having them, aren't you? I don't want them like that. 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 Um, I feel really nervous. I don't want to be knocked out. I don't want to have tubes down my throat. I don't want to be cut open. Um, but it's, there's no other option. It's, it's been years. Too much whippage on the left foot has caused me to have a hernia. And I've been injured for absolutely ages. And I can't, I can't wait to get out of the way. To do the rehab, recover. I owe it to you guys. I owe it to Jez. I owe it to the F2. And I just can't be, I can't wait to be back on the pitch, injury free, producing the tickets. Um, Thanks for your support on social media guys, it's been unbelievable.
read each one of your messages honestly F2 family all the way. Road to recovery, we'll see you on the other side. Guys, the job's done, and to be honest, I feel totally like spaced out. I can't like, I feel like I'm floating. Um, no pain at the moment, um, which is good. I haven't seen the, 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 the scar, and um, well, let's see it now. You're gonna be the first ones to see this. Um, Kate, before we come in, let me sort my little back. It's right next to the old. Gangster, innit? Jez, put some music over this, ready? <laughs> 